Hey everybody, it's Troy, Roadside RC, and we've got something new on the bench today. It is the Red Cat Gen 8 version 2, and this is going to be the start of a whole video series where we're going to take a bone stock Red Cat Gen 8, and we are going to do some modifications, upgrades to it, see how much better we can get the performance of this vehicle. Now this Red Cat Gen 8, this comes to us from the Rich DRC. We will put a link up to his channel up in the video description. This is a basically brand new Red Cat Gen 8. This is the V2 though, and the V2 has some upgrades. It has a stronger, better servo out of the box, the pan hard location, plus also the high uh, HD gears in it. You've seen us already with a Red Cat Gen 8 on the channel. Grandpa Road RC, or it's at RC, actually has one. We've done a couple things to it. We're going to take our lessons learned from that. We're going to apply it to this one. First thing we need to do though is get it out on the backyard crawler course, give it kind of a once over, see how it does in bone stock form. So let's go out there, let's give it a shot. So honestly, for a first run, that was really good. We've had a whole bunch of different trucks go across our crawler course over time. And a lot of them out of the box really have not done nearly as well as this truck just did. Yes, we were running it on 3S, planned to run this vehicle on 3S. Um, did get a couple scratches on the body. I'm sorry, Rich DRC. But a couple things I'm curious if you guys saw on the footage that I kind of noticed while I was driving it. One, which is pretty typical, the danged bumpers, man. Hitting, hanging, that kind of thing on the bumpers. 
Um, the other thing that is the first thing to look at here is of course the tires. The tires actually are decent. Um, I was surprised with how much I did like the tires in fact. We are going to tuck in these bumpers. Before we start doing anything to these bumpers, we need to actually measure the attack angle that we're getting in the, in the departure angle. So this is the rear. I'm going to put this tape measure in under the tire. And I'm going to angle this up until it touches the bumper. Okay, and we are at just over 40 degrees. It looks like 42 degrees is what we're sitting at. Now that's honestly, depending on how you look at it, it's a little optimistic because... That's to the end of this bumper here, and you can tell easily by looking at this that we've been hitting this little RitCat logo that's in this trailer hitch a bunch. All right, and then doing the same thing on the front should be a little more impressive because of that obviously shorter distance there. We are looking at, looks like it's bouncing at 60 degrees. If I could hold my hand steady, it looks like it's right at 60 degrees. Easiest way to gain some clearance with both the front and rear bumper is to push them in because that that narrows that distance between the tire and the bumper. It may cause some, um, may cause us to trim the body some, and, and we are willing to do that. And so what we're gonna do is, obviously in the rear here, we have all the room necessary. So we're gonna take these two screws in, and we're gonna move it in until the bumper's underneath the body. On the front, uh, it'll be very, very similar. We're gonna take these two screws out, and we're gonna move this in. It's gonna cause the end of these bumper mounts to hit the servo. So we're gonna have to grind or cut those off. But basically we will shove this in as far as we can. It looks like it's probably gonna be about one more hole. And then we're just gonna to have to look at these ends of this bumper, which are probably going to get sacrificed. All right, and here is the preliminary results. So we just have this bumper shoved all the way in as far as it can go with the ends trimmed off. And of course, we're gonna to start to have some interference here between the body and the bumper. So that's something that we're gonna to have to look at. On the rear, again, took it out, shoved it in. We're gonna to try to make it as flush with the rear of the vehicle as possible. Just even where we are so far testing out, on the rear, we've already gained up to 46 degrees. And on the front, Whoa, look at that, 65 degrees. So we're already five degrees better on the front and four degrees better on the rear. We're not done yet though. So one of the other things that I really don't like here is you can see kind of where the tire is versus the end of the bumper. So I really like to be able to come up and I like to not have a bumper in the way of my tire. Yes, I may end up deforming the body or pushing the body off a little bit, but I want that tire to be able to get to the rock. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're actually going to right past the end of this bar. We're going to come in and we're going to cut maybe some level of curve or something, this bumper, and we're going to remove these whole edges off of it. Okay. And then with some pretty serious time on the grinder, we now have edges that are scalloped in. You can see that there, how I kind of scalloped those edges in. And then I actually reduced the total depth of the bumper itself. So actually this whole area back here, this width of this bumper right here is cut. You can see compared to the, I'll try to put a still image here of the stock bumper versus this one side by side. Um, how much I just cut this whole bumper down and slid it all back. And here is the magic of it. If we take the body and we set the body on where it's supposed to go, and the body actually fits in right behind the bumper when you do that. It doesn't actually set on top of it. So we have smashed this bumper way in on this truck. I mean, we've probably moved the whole thing a half inch or more back from where it was stock. And it fits perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at all that clearance we now have. Now, looking at this, we're going to try this all over again. We're going to come up here as a reminder. We were initially at 60 degrees, and oh, look at that. We're touching 70. It's probably a 69 if I had to be honest. I want to call it 70, though, because I want the pride. But So we have gained almost 10, 10 degrees of attack angle on the front of this vehicle, plus unshrouded the front tires for zero dollars. That's pretty good. So at the rear here, if you remember, we actually started at 42 degrees. And just like the front, we gained about 10 degrees. Oh, I'm shaking too much about 52, 53. So again, 10 degrees, 10 degrees front 
and rear like attack departure angel angle for zero dollars and it still fits with the vehicle you haven't hacked up the body you haven't done anything else that's pretty cool now i think there might be more to do to the rear bumper similar to like what i did with the front as far as cutting it in but i'm going to hold off on that until we get the body that rich really wants to run on this like i said he wants to run the axe body i want to get the axe body on and see if there's actually any mods we want to do to the x body itself to make sure that this rear clearance really is all that we can get but man i am loving this a whole lot closer front a whole lot closer rear that that is really good now I want you guys to stay tuned. The next part of this is tires. And again, these stock tires, they're not bad, but is there something better that we can get with this? I've actually started rummaging around. I think I'm gonna try two different options, but you gotta stay tuned and check in for the next part of this video series to see that. So anyway, thank you. I hope this was really useful for you. Uh, if you have a Red Cat Gen 8, let me know down in the comments, what are some of the best mods that you've done to it? I'd love to get, I'd love to have that dialogue and see what else uh, the other ideas are out there. So anyway, thank you guys. Really appreciate you watching as always. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. In the meantime, come over here, check out some of the other videos that we have going on. Support the channel. We will support you back. You know that. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Goodbye.